our, the great glorious moon. I hope someday we'll learn about its great glorious past. Past? Yes, little kitty. Even after all these years, scientists are still unsure about the moon's exact origin. And all we have is a few theories. <laughs> As you say, my curious cat. Hey friends, I know you are equally curious to learn about the moon's backstory. So, in today's episode, let us shed some light on the best theories we have on the formation of the moon. Zoom in! We learned so much about our natural satellite in your previous videos right from its different faces to its eclipse and even explore the possibilities of what will happen if the moon disappeared. So, I request you to please check these videos once. The links are in the description below. Now, when it comes to the moon's formation, the earth plays a significant role in its birth. Yes, in its 4.5 billion years of lifespan, planet Earth has seen several asteroids shooting towards it with great force. Some of them collided with the Earth and got destroyed, while many of them hit the surface creating bowl-shaped depressions called craters. And most of them missed the hit and kept flying ahead in space. Though most traces of the Earth's past have long since been destroyed, but we can find clues for most of it. And that's why scientists have come up with different theories about space formation, including the formation of the Moon. So, let us have a look at them one after the other. Although there are various theories revolving around the formation of the Moon, the following few are the most concrete and popular ones, starting with the Capture Theory. According to this theory, the Moon was formed elsewhere in the solar system and was wandering in space aimlessly, unaware of its future. But when it came closer to our Earth, it was captured by its gravity and since it is still stuck in the gravitational field of our planet. The next popular theory is called the Accretion Theory. This theory suggests that the Moon was created along with the Earth during its formation. But this notion died out quickly as it could not define the speed of the Moon. Another popular theory is called the Fission Scenario. According to this theory, the Earth was spinning so fast around its axis that a small part of it broke away and began revolving around the planet. But again, we didn't have much evidence to prove this idea. And soon we came up with the most concrete and widely accepted theory which is the Giant Impact Theory. Yes, according to the Giant Impact Theory, millions of years ago, even before the Earth and the Moon, there existed Proto-Earth and Thea, a planet almost the size of Mars. One day, when these two bodies collided with each other, and due to the explosion of heat, the Proto-Earth and Thea melted only to form as a new giant body that we today know as the planet Earth. Only the small part of the two planets collected near the Earth's orbit, which with time formed into the moon that revolves around our planet. Trivia time! Did you know the size of our moon is almost equivalent to that of the size of the planet Mars? 
also you won't believe it but the moon's surface is actually dark hope you learned something new today until next time it's me dr binox zooming out let's go home kitty hope someday someone will find the real story behind the moon's formation <laughs> never mind